What's up? <laughs> okay, we're back with another video. I'm Sarah. I'm Russ. And this is our cooking channel, Better Cook. So before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on. Okay, so today what are we cooking? We're cooking chicken affritata. Another Filipino dish. This is actually one we just learned this year how to yeah. make. We've had it before, obviously, but we just we didn't know how to cook it. So that's what we're making today. And to make it a little more fun, we're actually gonna have a topic that we're gonna talk about. Yeah. What are we gonna do today? Uh, we're, we're talking about our top five artists, music artists. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about music today, which is pretty cool, because you guys know how to chop and all that, so we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna kind of talk while we cook. Yeah. We'll guide you guys a little bit, but. Um, and for the recipe, I'm actually going off of a recipe I found on Pinterest, so I'll make sure to put that in the description, but it is kind of tailored to how we like it as well. So I'll make sure to let you guys know how much we're using of each ingredient, but that's where I got like the main idea from. And his mom. Yeah. Oh, do we have that Colorado packet? So. I forgot about that. Oh my God. Okay, we have the secret ingredient. Good thing. <laughs> no, we did have any. Did you remember that? No, there's hella in here. No, but I mean, did you remember that we had to use that? I didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have okay, a Okay, I did, I did remember. Mm -hmm. You did remember. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have a Capri Sun. And it's hella hot today, guys. Yeah, it's, it's hot. It's getting hot. So, let's see, what do we got here? What are our ingredients? Our ingredients, we have chicken. Um, I don't know if you guys to see it, but we marinated it for... It's been an hour, hour. now. Mm -hmm. Soy sauce and lemon. Yep. We have the hood version of tomato <laughs> sauce. <laughs> His favorite. <laughs> we have yellow onion. <laughs> tomato, uh, bell pepper, carrots. Uh, we also have cut or diced uh, potatoes. It's soaking in water. Soy sauce. Mamacita's uh, Calderetta spicy, spicy sauce mix. And uh, lemon. And... <laughs> <laughs> you guys know this guy, right? This <laughs> guy. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, with the chicken, it's supposed to be two pounds. That's what the recipe calls for. So I did one pack of chicken tenders and one pack of chicken thighs. Preferably we like thighs, but I didn't have two packs of that. So chicken tenders, thighs. I used a whole lemon. This is just a prop to show you. I used one whole lemon juice and then I just poured soy sauce over it and it's just already chopped and sitting in there for an hour. So really, I still have to look in the direction a little bit. I feel like what we can do is we can have, we can start putting that in the pan now. Onion, I'm gonna chop the onion really quick for him while he gets the pan ready. You guys know what to do. He's turning the pan on, he's putting the chicken in. Yeah. So I'm gonna just chop this onion, and I'm gonna do it big like we normally like it, just like the synagogue, just like the tenola. We like onion, so I'm just gonna chop that really quick. And with that being said, how's our, how's our topic gonna go? Oh yeah, so uh, while we're chopping and doing all that, the topic of today, because I mean, people when they're when they're cooking, they talk. You know I mean? So today's topic is our uh, top five music artists. I feel like this is gonna be really hard. Cause what's yours? You go first. This is hard because I'm gonna say music is so. I like music because I like the emotions that it brings out. So I feel like we think we think of music differently. So obviously we're gonna have different artists. But I'm gonna say mine and then why. Okay, so um, five artists. Five artists. We gotta chop up a lot. But you gotta cut the chicken. Right, and and I'm gonna do this. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. So while we're talking, I'm just gonna chop the carrots. The recipe calls for one carrot, one tomato, one bell pepper. I'm gonna do two carrots. And then it said one potato, but I did two russet potatoes, and I'm soaking them because that's what his mom does. <laughs> You know, there's just some things that you do them because you do them, but you don't really know why. I think it's to take the starch out and they cook quicker. That's what I think. So that's what I'm going with. If anyone knows the actual answer, let me know. <laughs> I guess it's just to keep them clean. 
I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. So that's what I'm doing with the potatoes. Those have also been sitting in water since the chicken. So my favorite artist, um, this is just like what I can think of right now. Obviously, I have to say Russ because he is an artist. And I say him because... It's just someone I know personally and I see like the work ethic and the passion and the love for it. So of course that means a lot to me already. So of course it's gonna be on my top five. And then I'm gonna say, <sighs> we might have some in common, so don't, I get to go first, so he's gonna be copying me. But um, I'm gonna say Biggie because I like rap music and I like that he every song is like fun but it also had meaning because obviously there's two sides to his music um like what's his um ready to die is that his album mm -hmm. like that's his best album that's not full of party music but i like his his message and then tupac on the other hand is also another favorite because he always stood strong in his message as well so i think that's what music should be for it should be to invoke things in people and then i'm gonna go with Drake because I like that he's openly emotional and emotional in a way where he has all these feelings and he expresses it through his music and a lot of people like say that's like a bad thing about Drake but that's what makes Drake Drake so you can't really knock it um and everything is relatable at the end of the day and then I'm gonna say I wish I had more female artists but um my last one is a female artist let me guess what Alina Brown. yeah <laughs> Uh, why do you think? Because she sounds like good music. I always make fun of her because think? I'm like, I don't know if you guys know Alina Baraz, but her style is kind of like a Billie Eilish, kind of like whispery singing. I mean, she's dope. Yeah. But it's just too girly for me personally. Um, yeah. And I keep telling Sarah, I'm like, man, it sounds like she's like in a seance, like casting spells and shit. But I also make fun of Sarah too, because she's like, you know how we're both kind of, we're both spiritual. And I was like, she, I was kind of, I'm just kidding. We're both spiritual. Uh huh. And I keep telling Sarah that she's a witch. <laughs> I am a in, witch. In the past life. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. Alina Baraz, because I just love like, I can tell she's spiritual through her music and I just like feel that connection just through her music. And I like listening to it because it's just really vibey and it just, it's really divine, and I'm pretty sure she has a song called that. But yeah, I like I like her music for that. I like her message. I like what she embodies, pretty much. And I'm just I peeled the carrots. I'm just chopping them. You guys know how to chop things, so that's why we decided like not to put that in there this time. Yeah, because everyone knows with with all these, they're like I said, chop them all up and dump it all in. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. So, so um, you know, while you chop it up, you just get chopped up from gang, too. So you have two more? No. No, I did all five. Really? Yeah. Wait, no, yeah. You did I did Biggie, you, Biggie, Biggie, Drake, Tupac. Oh, Tupac. And me. Oh, okay. All right, so my turn. Yeah. Um, of course, yeah. Tupac. You know, same same thing, like with Sarah. Um, um, his, like, to me, Tupac was more of like a... He had a stronger message, mm -hmm. and it wasn't always like it didn't have to be so like lyrical, right? Mm -hmm. But it was very poetic. Yeah. Um, and of course, from the West Coast and his the beats, his and he was with Death Row, so I mean that's automatic automatic for me because I love Death Row. Um, and Biggie Smalls, because of his rap flow, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he, had, he was a real rapper, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was my he's probably my favorite rap artist, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but to be my favorite rapper doesn't mean to you don't you have to be like adult lyricism. Yeah. Um, but Biggie Smalls is definitely like the best rapper. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would say, and this is this is music artists other than myself because I'm my favorite artist too. <laughs> <laughs> but then I would say, uh, yeah, Death Row as a camp, Dr. Dre especially. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a I'm a producer, rapper, singer. And Death Row had all of that, and it also had like that West Coast vibe, that G funk, mm -hmm. um, and it had everyone it had Tupac, it had Snoop Dogg, it had Dr. Dre, 
um, you know what I'm saying? He got, he was able to get like the best, the of best, the of, best, the best of the, the best soul artists, but come together as a collective. Yeah, that year that that was really dope. I agree. I and really then for current artists, so those are like my top three all favorite time. all time. Mm -hmm. My two current, if you're talking about current, Ty Dolla Sign, of course. He's mm -hmm. versatile. He sings. He raps. Mm -hmm. um, and do you like that he's kind of like his style's a little nostalgic, also? Yeah, and that too. Because I think we both grew up in listening to the same shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're both from the West Coast, yeah, from California. That's true. Mm -hmm. And so we were similar. Um, but of course, everyone has different stories, but he, yeah. he's dope. Um, and then I would say, yeah, Drake. Drake that, he, yeah, that was five. That's yeah. the current, top five current artist. Drake, because he's so all, he just drops hits. I don't yeah. care what no one says about him, because he can do every fucking thing. Mm -hmm. Every fucking song, and each song is a fucking Grammy. Yeah. And you know, like, I think what I like about Drake is, like, he doesn't try hard to be hard. And we saw him perform at Summer 16. That was the best concert. Yeah. We yeah. We don't go to many concerts, but that one, like, I, it was totally worth it because I love Drake. We both like Drake, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's my top five. <sighs> that's pretty good. Okay, but it's so funny because when I was thinking about it, we kind of discussed the topic. We didn't discuss the topic, but we pitched the topic before. And I was thinking, like... If I were to think of my top five songs, though, it wouldn't even have to do with those people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which is funny. That's, that's just how music is. Like, it's so... I don't know. Yeah, and also just because they're my top five artists doesn't mean I listen to them all the time. Because I don't. Yeah. Um, I listen to a lot of old school shit. And what I like doing is, like, listening to different songs that I love and then, like, remixing them. Making them my own. Yeah. Here, I'm going to give you the onion. Um, so I'm going to give them the onion. The the chicken looks not so pink anymore, so we're gonna add the onion. And this recipe from Pinterest calls for garlic, but we're not putting garlic in ours. So I'm actually gonna give them the onion and I'm gonna put the uh, tomato as well. And there you go. Should I bring them closer now? Yeah. Is it time to come closer? Okay, so I'm gonna disappear now because he is the master mixer. <laughs> So I'm gonna bring you guys closer. All right guys, so this is how it looks like when you brown the chicken. Um, it's still browning. This is where you also add fish sauce and the tomato sauce. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper. Just a little. Remember, salt enhances pepper changes the flavor. Just a little bit of pepper. As a chef, this is something you should know. One cup of water. And then here's the tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Okay. I'm gonna heat up to seven just to get it kind of like bubbling. And then put this. This guy. It says two tablespoons in the recipe, but this is where we kind of do it our own. We like to put the put this in the in the spoon. That's how we learned how to like add the patis. Every time I use this, it'd be spilling all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Let me just do that, do that. <laughs> this is how it's kind of looking like. I just let it, let her cook. <laughs> so it says come to a boil. Yeah. Starting to bubble. And now this is where we would lower the heat and let it simmer for 20 minutes. So basically all of these flavors can kind of marinate together now. Because I don't think you want the potatoes and the bell pepper and the carrot to get too soggy. That's why we add them later. But like the onions and stuff, the tomato is adding to the chicken flavor. And also, his mom said... What did she say? Oh, she doesn't marinate her chicken in soy sauce and lemon, but ever since I saw that recipe on Pinterest, I like to do it because sometimes chicken can be kind of flavorless when you cook it right away with no, like, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So I feel like marinating it in the soy sauce and lemon gives it a little more, like, flavor when you actually eat a piece of chicken. Yeah. So we're going to leave this alone until, for 20 minutes, so 3.30. We don't have a lid. <laughs> so we're just going to let it hang out. And we'll be back. 
Okay, so actually while this is simmering, this um, step isn't in the Pinterest recipe, so I'll make sure to put the recipe and our recipe kind of. Um, but we're gonna add this packet of seasoning right now. That's what it is. This really enhances the flavor as well. So I can do the whole packet, half a packet? Do the whole packet. Okay. Why not? You want it more flavor, like the more flavorful, more, more flavorful, the better. <laughs> <laughs> so we go add the whole packet. And now we will let this sit for 20 minutes. Maybe just mix it all up real quick. Alright guys, this is how it looks like. It's been sitting in the pot, cooking on low for about 20 minutes now. And we're gonna add all the vegetables. I'm gonna add the carrots. That's our oven. We're also cooking Brussels sprouts, and here's the potatoes drained. And now we're just gonna let this cook until the vegetables are cooked, pretty much. <laughs> Movie ass. We're looking at it, and we're making decisions, and we're deciding to make it a little less thick. So he's gonna add water in slowly. Okay. All right, guys, it's done. Matthew, oh, so Anthony, say hi to camera. Hi. He's gonna be our kid to uh, kid. <laughs> <laughs> our kid food taster. So Critique. Critique. So let us know. Okay, so is mm -hmm. it good? Yeah, it's good. Give it a thumbs up to the camera. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, get out of here. here get your, bring this. Okay, and that's it today for Better Cook. Make sure to like the video and comment below. Comment below um, what topics you think we should talk about or bring up next time. Uh, while we're cooking. During cooking, yes. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs>